Hi YouTube, this is the President Michael back with an autograph melee video and I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you. Purchases, TTMs, IP. Uh, let's start with the TTMs. I got an autograph from this lady before. She must have found my letter and didn't think she responded. This is Kelsey um, um, Ballerini. Sent a... Uh, Nine by ten. I first got here not not that many months ago. So like I said, she must have thought she didn't respond and decided to send another. I got uh, three playbills from two different productions. The first one is called Nice Fish. See, it's cast signed. And here's the other one. No one too famous that I, well that I know much of. One name was familiar. Uh, this one right here. Show you. Uh, Mark Rylance. Yeah, I heard of his name. Uh, I guess he's pretty well known in um, uh, for his stage work. But uh, that's about the only one that I was familiar with at all. But they sent two signed playbills. <clears throat> the next one only sent one. This is called On Your Feet, the story of Emilio and Gloria Estefa, Este Esteban. That's how you say her name. I know, I know who she is, but name's tricky. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I don't think anyone too famous in here that I recognized. Now my battery's going low, so if it dies, it might be a two-parter. Um, that is it for the uh, TTMs. Now, IPs. <clears throat> There's a local um, football team. Well, it's not in, in where I live, but it's a few cities away called the Central Florida Jags. They're in the American Indoor Football League, I think is what it's called. Well, they had their fan fest on March the 8th. I decided to go. I meant to go to their fan fest, and again, the last couple of years, I just never made it. They were known as a different name and a different league last year. So it was all new league, all new team. So anyways, I went and I got most of the team's autographs. They're actually pretty friendly. The head football coach for them, his name is Ronnie Gent, I think is, if I remember correctly. He's from, La he's from Lakeland, that's where the team's situated. And he did play in the NFL and he was pretty nice. And I got, um, like I said, most of the team. And, I, and everyone whose autograph I got, I got my picture with. I got to go on the um, field, which was really cool. And I'm definitely going to make it to a game this year. I got two things signed by them. One, <coughs> got a football. <coughs> Excuse me. As you see, it's um pretty well filled up. So I got most of the team. This isn't the best football you could buy, but I got one of the same kind signed by Rick Leach, and I like it. It's lighter colored, so it shows. Um, Ronnie Gent... Uh, here he is. He's, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is him. And I'll put pictures of the players that I had taken with on my Facebook page so you can see. And the videos too, which um, you might have seen in my previous video before this, I filmed at the Fan Fest. <clears throat> Next thing I got signed by um, that team was in my autograph book. <clears throat> And they're all in here. Whole team, including Ronnie Gant, everyone who's autograph I got. Got my book. And then they were selling <coughs> some merchandise. So I bought a hat and I had Ronnie Gant sign it. Here's the team. Sam sign it right there. I think it looks really nice. I'm definitely going to go to a game. Now, if I can figure out exactly who I have in that football, I might try to get the rest of the team on it. I probably only missed a few. Okay, next IP I went to. Um, if you're big into football, you might have heard of Derek Brooks, Hall of Fame um, football player. He's also been starring in commercials for a cable provider here in Florida, probably other states too, called Bright House Network. And that's mainly why I want his autograph, because he's been in those commercials. I'm not a huge football fan. I really just liked him because of the commercials. Well, he was appearing 
at five different days for about a four hour period each day at an event called the Florida Strawberry Festival. It was a pretty big festival. I went. The thing is huge. I was there maybe four or five hours and I only saw a small part of it. There's things, a whole bunch of musicians appearing there like Chris Christopherson, um, the Oak Ridge Boys, um, some of the Osmonds, a whole bunch of them. I've seen a few shows but I mainly went there to get Derek Brooks. I had him sign two things and I had a picture with him and <clears throat> I got him within a few minutes again there. There was no line. Probably was most of the people who got his autograph or wanted it got it already. And I guess they appeared there before. But uh, they had some items there. You could buy like football cards were like 15 photos. I think 25 or 2 for 40. I brought my own stuff. The autograph was free to get. So I got first football sign. He signed it right there. Looks really, really nice. And yeah, this is definitely a dime in this battery. <clears throat> I'm signing my football book and I had a picture taken with him. Pretty cool. And I did some filming for that too, so I'll have that on my um, uh, YouTube page. Oh, here's one of the tickets for it. In case you want to know what it looks like. So I'm sure he's going to appear there again. I thought that was pretty cool. I got like a lot of um, state fairs and things like that. Pretty expensive. It was like $15 for parking. There was different parking lots, different prices. 10 bucks to get in. The food was really expensive. You know, it was nice. They had a lot of different things. But look it up. Florida Strawberry Festival. If you're in the area when they have it, you should check it out. It's actually pretty nice. They have a lot of stuff there. Um, oh, I went to another event. I filmed some of it. I don't know if I'll put it on. I'm always considered copyright issues. But there is a well-known um, Christian singer. Just gospel and um, a little bit of Christian rock, or how you say it, called Carmen. Um, it was a event... Um, music event that's happened at a church in Winter Haven, Florida. I heard about it. I've heard of him. I never actually heard of any of his music, but I said I'm going to try something new. I went, and um, it was a pretty good show. I actually liked it. I didn't get his autograph. If you wanted to get his autograph, you had to donate money to this charity he was doing, which I don't. I didn't have any problems doing that, but it's one of those things where you sponsor a child and then take money out of your debit or credit card every month. I just didn't like doing that. If they would have accepted a cash donation, I would have done it, and I would have been able to get, get a chance to have met him. He says he'll take pictures with you and sign autographs. Fortunately, I couldn't do that because of, because of the, the fee. But I did get to see the show, and I filmed part of this one part where he was doing like part of the Pledge of Allegiance, and when he was talking about the charity, so I might be able to upload that on YouTube to show you. But this is what it looked like, and then a little information book, and... Um, Here's the ticket. So that was pretty cool. Um, I, oh, I decided not to go to that convention. I really, really, really wanted to. But it wasn't the right time with the money. I didn't want to spend it. But it was going to cost about 200 bucks, And I was only really going to be paying for three people. Ed Ashner, Don, um, it was Don Wells from Gilligan's Island, and Barbara Eden. But I was going to do the photo ops for all three, and I was only going to get Don Wells' autograph because Eden and Ashton I already have. But with the amount to get in there, the amount for the photo op, the one autograph, the parking, it would have been around $200, and I just didn't want to spend it. Which, unfortunately, was this would have been a great um, experience because it was a smaller convention. So eventually when I get to one of the bigger ones, like in Orlando, Tampa, I would have had some experience in my belt because i actually never been to a convention. But I'm going to really get a chance to hopefully do it again, or um, I will get the chance again because I know there's coming up in Orlando. Got to see, it, like with a lot of people, like a lot of you want to, it's all up to what you could afford. So I didn't go. But hopefully I'll be doing something like that soon and then I could report it here on YouTube. Uh, I ordered a whole bunch of photos. I get, did get some for the convention just in case. Because there was um, a few celebrities there that were... Um, sign for free, so I print some stuff off in regard to them. I had a really nice um, cast photo of Gilligan's Island. I would have Don Wells, I believe her name is, sign it. That Sherwood Schwartz, I think his name was, sent me, and he signed it. And it's a really nice cast sign. Um, 
piece. I don't know if I ever showed it in this channel when I have to pull it out. But I did print a whole bunch of 8x10s from um, Sharp Prints. You know, well, 8x10s and um, 8x12. I did a whole bunch of political people. Um, you know, Marco Rubio, Rick Santorum. I could have maybe met Rubio today or um, yesterday, I mean. But after spending all the time the day before the Strawberry Festival, I was just way too tired to go to another event the next day. But he's a young man, <clears throat> and I'm sure I'll be seeing him again for some other office he might be running for, or um, someone he's endorsing, we got to see. I did John Kasich just in case. I don't think I'm going to be seeing any of these guys before the Florida primary on um, March 15th, which is this Tuesday. I like here Rick Scott, my, my governor... Lieutenant Governor of Florida, who I think is running for the Senate. I did a few um, Adam, Adam West photos. I don't know, it's strange. I wrote to him two times before, return center, that the address wasn't good, but I've seen others get a success from the same address long after I sent or long after I got it back. So I tried again one more time with um, two 4x6s. If I do have luck, I'm going to maybe send these 8x10s because I don't have his autograph and that's one I really really want I have a couple of pictures um, uh, that I really want to get of uh, Batman here's one the one woman who signed for free at the convention and she's more of a voice actress I forget what her name is at the moment here's another Adam West some more Rick Scott here's some with some of the candidates who will run for president this time around they're right now on the stage you know, Santorum, Christie, Huckabee and Jindal I actually met these two um, Huckabee and Janelle and I almost met Santorum once. Here would be a cool shot of Adam West to get signed. Here's our Marco Rubio picture. Got some of Ben Carson. Since he endorsed Trump, he might be doing some appearances for him, and he might run for the Senate himself in Florida. Here's one of him as a doctor. And I have a few um, um, more current photos of him, too. I did some for Trump. But um, I don't really think I'm even going to get close because I hear there's many thousands and thousands and thousands of people. The best time would to have gotten in would have been more earlier in the process. You know, Nevada, um, Iowa, New Hampshire, places like that. Actually, I have an autograph coming in of him. I bought from somebody who got met him in Nevada. <clears throat> and I bought from this person before, and I so I trust him, and he was recommended to me by another person I trust. So I'm actually getting a Trump just in case. I do have Hillary's. I'm getting on a guaranteed authentic Trump. I did get Trump's autograph several years ago, an 8x10 and a business card. But, uh, you know, you can never say 100% sure if, if, if it's real. It wasn't done by secretary. So I thought, I'm going to try to um, cover all bases so I can have whoever's the next president, whether it's Hillary or uh, Trump. The Hillary I bought is a signed book. I think I showed it on this channel. And it's a full signature, too. So it looks really nice. I'll see about pulling out one time to reshow it. But I got, um, I did about three of Trump, three of most of these political people. Here's another one, update one of Ben Carson. Um, I did some Ted Cruz, even though I don't know if I'll see him. I do have his autograph. Um, some of my local congressmen, Chris Christie, just in case. Because he did endorse Trump, so he might be making some appearances here on his behalf. And I know Christie has come for Flor to Florida for political events. Um, more Trumps. Like I said, I did about three. This vo the voice, One of the voice actors in this um, video game, Dead Island, was going to be at that convention. Got some of Bobby Jindal in case I see him again. Um, another person who was signing for free at the convention. He's a musician, a voice actor, and I'm um, horrible with names. I don't remember what his name was at the moment. So I'm going to cover all my bases just in case. Um, the, uh, the one who played, what was it, Nutreu and the Never Ending Story was one of the ones who was signed for free. His name's Noah something. So I did get these just in case. Some Rick Santorum again. This would have been a really nice one to get done. Um... Rick Perry, I almost met him a couple years ago, but he didn't show up at the event that I went to. It was um, a political event for Rick Scott, the Florida governor. Ginger was there, but for some reason Perry didn't show up, even though he showed up at the event for Scott before and after that one. So maybe he just had to take a break. 
I thought I'm going to cover all my bases and have some photos of them just in case. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mainly a lot of political photos, but uh, I thought I'm going to be prepared. Uh, okay, to the purchases. Okay, sorry about that, my battery did die. But I have it plugged in now. Okay, on to the purchases. Bought a couple business cards for Jeb Bush. They were actually were quite expensive for a while. With him out of the race, they actually went way, way down. And I decided to get these. This is one from his campaign for president for 2016. It looked pretty good. I really like business cards. I had to get it. And this one is a personal card from... Uh, I'm not sure if he still has this business. But I didn't have any luck getting him before with these cards. I do have his governor's card signed. I got one through the mail signed and then one I got... Well, no, I brought... I had an extra one that was unsigned with his governor's card. When I met him at a Romney event back in 2012, I had him sign it. But I like having different cards of um, different people. And what's good about this one, it's uh, GSA certified, which is always a plus. <coughs> Let me show you one of my book pickups. Before I get to that, I want to show this. I probably got this about three years ago. As you might have heard, uh, former First Lady Nancy Reagan recently passed away. Well, I have a copy of one of her, her memoir that is signed by her. So I thought I could re-show it on my channel. I'm pretty sure I showed this when I got it in. Sign. I her right there. Very happy to have this, and I, at the time I did get a pretty good deal for it. Okay, these. Let me see. I'll show you the really good ones first. Um, I have a copy of this already, but I saw one someplace. A person offered me a good deal for it, so I picked it up. This is Encounter with Tiber. It's signed by Buzz Alder and the Second Man to Step in the Moon. It's a nice Mylar cover, really nice. And it is signed by Buzz. Right there. Cool. And the next couple, signed by former president. This one is Living Faith by Jimmy Carter. <laughs> there. The next one is An Hour Before Daylight by Jimmy Carter. These others, the next ones, came from a um, rummage sale that was happening at a church. I happened to see a sign about it, and I decided to pop in and check it out. They had a lot of knickknacks and clothes and stuff, which I wasn't interested in, but they did have a small amount of books. They had um, VHSs, DVDs, um, too, but it mostly was um, religious-themed. But I checked through the books. Actually, I checked through the CDs, too. I didn't see any signed, but the books, there was some signed. <clears throat> First one is the 21-Year uh, Reputable Laws of Leadership. Follow and people follow you by John C. Maxwell. And actually, there's a forward in here by Zig Ziegler, who I actually met. Book plate, which someone put horribly in the book. That's John Maxwell. Next one is God's Presence Among the Aging. <coughs> 55 Meditations for Seniors, a um, new series dealing with stress by James E. McL. Downey. And these were all 25 cents a piece that I got at book sale, or that rum sale, this church. Celebrate Joy by Velma Sewell Daniels, and her name is familiar. I think I might have found another book someplace that was signed by her. Right in the back. Well, it is signed by her. And I'll show you. 
nice big inscription. There's a few things I'll slip in a book. A couple of them I knew about before. Some um, words of wisdom from her. And a bookmark of hers. And then some information sheet. The last one is When God Calls by Nathan L. Smith with Ann E. Smith. It's only signed by Nathan. Um, you know what? I think that actually is it. Yeah, I did the TTMs. I did the IPs and I did the purchases. Um, I am hoping to have some more stuff to show you soon. I actually got to send out some more um, TTMs, and there might be a few more IP stuff I'm going to do soon. It all depends on what's going on. You all, you all know how it is. But that is it. Really, a lot of stuff, a lot of big variety, which I like, and I'm pretty happy with the IPs. Uh, it's always those are always the most exciting thing to do with regard to autograph collecting, I think, which is very interesting to be able to meet the person whose autograph you're receiving, because most of the time for us, you know, it's either a purchase or a TTM. We never actually get to see the celebrity in person or get to meet him. That's why I very much like IPs. You know, I don't get a chance to do it as much as I should. Um, that is it. If you have any comments or questions, um, you know, just put them below, right there. You see there's a comment section? Look down. No, no, no. Lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little box. Anything you want to say? Any questions? That's where you put it. And, and I usually don't ask for this, but if you like the video, please um, do a thumbs up. All right, that's it. I hope you all have a good day. And I look forward to talking to you again soon, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Bye.